Mejio Fayum here, and I am here today with a brand new episode of the Banner Saga. And the Banner Saga is really a game that you know plenty of people praised at launch. It was like the most well received game to date. And so you might be wondering, well. Should I be covering new games or should I be covering old games? I'm not covering because I want to just get new games. Of course anybody wants to get new games when they're starting out and they want to do it. But I'm covering this because this has been praised and I also want to try it out. I want to see what it is. It is very similar to Ash of Gods and maybe perhaps Pillars of Eternity in some sense. Not too much. As you can see this is all 2D. Uh, well, Hand, hand drawn animation, I mean cartoon style animation which you see in movies quite a lot but anyway I rambled on too much but I really hope that you enjoy this and I'll see you right after this hmm. so the story in the band is all, yeah The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giants arrived through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge Deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade, and life. When life goes on, only one thing has stopped, the sun. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. I wonder if they're giants and these old people. I mean, normal human beings. You arrived just in time. A chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag her on the screen to see us around. Let's click. Alright, so this is our, I have to say the design is beautiful. Yeah, but when you zoom in it looks like... Yeah, when you zoom in it looks... Yeah. Alright. So these portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemy is red. Yep, my complaint, I still can't... Why is it already drawn out? How drawn out does it need to be? It needs to be more clear. Anyway, your, it's your turn to act. Movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield banger 
Shield Binder is active. Blue tiles around him show where he can move. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Val, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Click the tile you want to move, then click the check mark to confirm. Yep, so we'll bring him into attack range. To target an enemy, click the tile on which they stand ally. Yep, pretty much you get the idea. So, you can either choose to attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. I'll do two. Let's go. Yep. Understood that. You you can pretty much pause doing this if you want, and then you can pretty much at this point. Pause and see the tutorial as you want. Okay, enemy is only first turn to remain. A strength attack will kill. So let's use the fist. Yep, I'm gonna confirm. And he's down. He's down, yep. He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. After taking an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate. Al alternate. Alternate. Even if you are numbered. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high armor. Now it's your warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource. Use it wisely. By clicking on gold tiles, the character can move further than usual at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. So we have break, exertion, yeah, we have eight. Yep, so let's go. That's costed us one willpower. Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your walk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click your walk's title to uh, click it. Excessive. Let's click Tempest and let's do both. Aha! Uh -huh. They have made quick work of the chieftain's bodyguard. So when there is only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one power. The chieftain will rest his turn. Looks like the chieftain is in some trouble. Your chill banger won't be able to finish his job with a normal attack. But willpower can be used to boost your damage. Click the chieftain tile for attack. Yep, we'll click the fist. And the number of stars available each turn are determined by your extortion stat. You can you see the damage number go up as you add willpower. Click a star. Then check the green mark to kill this enemy. Oh, I've done it. I think I've pretty much done it at this point. Okay, so that's the damage number. Yes. Hold on. Click a sun then clean the grid. I think I've done it. Victory it is indeed. We got some renown. Brilliant. Continue. Like a rabid wolf, that one. Mm -hmm. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die. Watched the chaos that followed. Nine. Watched man and var slaughter each other. Even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north mm. and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. How disturbing. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Doppelarking's tithe. 
take any men you need. They're loyal, I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. What an epic cutscene. I really love the art style and interaction. Ah, chapter one. Only the sun has stopped. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the great hall. He cuts to the chase. Huh? Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Uben, isn't it? What do you want? The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Seems a bit chaotic around here, Eric. It's been worse. We've got a lot of irons in the fire. What does he want exactly? Scarflings that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall. Scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about. I know who can tell us. So yep, we'll go to the market tent. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Coloured canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Hard. I'm not in the mood today. For... for what? Talking to an idiot. A Scarfling's chieftain bled out about an hour ago hard. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to... they don't talk to me. I don't have the patience for this. Hard sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every other week, how am I supposed to know much? Honestly. Just a little food money, yes? You toss a silver of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. Hard gestures meekly to a variety of junk from his stall. Take whatever you like. Only thing I'd like is the name of a place. Noblemen up by East Wall. But that was months ago, months ago last I know. Hard skulls go away. So, with a wave of Rex's hand, gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure your bodyguard steps forward. Ah, Ganov. Are we done here? Ganov? Were you in green back at the Great Hall? No. Just brought him while you were walking around. Why? You look like a frog. Better than an elephant. Egg, sorry. Better than an eggplant. Ganov? Ganov? Go, goes off to look at more stalls. Eric. That man of yours seemed unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust hard, but he used to be scuffling. They're licking their wounds now, they've probably gone to go gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall? Best I can tell the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Shouldn't we have an approach of some sort? What a luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual title. So usual teeth. I'll remind him. Ah, oh, there's the meat house. So what's this? So we can't go anywhere else. This is one. So we'll go to the meat house. You arrive in front of what must be noble man. A few minutes later, Eric appears 
where the weather-beaten man introduces Valgod. I'll point them out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? You're walking through the front door. I ran to a meetup, says Valgod. I'll be surprised if they can stand up straight right now. Okay, here we go. Valgod boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of a table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scufflings scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and meat steins in the process. Aha, another battle. A battle that must be fought indeed. So what do we do here? Can I join? Return the favor, alright. Okay, gone off. I want you to be here. No, I want you to be here. Let's get ready. I was hoping for a more of a fight than this. Look at them, it's gonna be buttery. Nope. Uh some more. Yep. So Ah, uh, the enemy comes. They'll come close. And I want you to attack. Attack him. With... Yep. Oof. That was a good hit. That was a very good hit indeed. Ah, uh, the giant is ready. We'll end the turn here. Just wait. Aha. Uh -huh. And gun off. I want you to go here. And no, no, I want you to attack. Attack. Why don't you? Mm, I'll end the turn here for now. We must wait for them to come. Wait for these scofflings to come. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. And attack. Two. We'll break his shield. Let's go. Oh. Yep, yeah, we are slowly winning this, slowly. Oh. Yep, uh, shield, come on, let's go. Why are we not finishing them off? Alright, that's it. Four, attack. Let's go. Smash him off. You bet, you bet, alright. Mm-hmm. Hey. Crying a lot, why aren't you attacking? Yep. He's done, he's gone. Come on, go and attack. On. Three. Attack. Oh, brilliant. We've managed to finish them off. Thug leader. Okay. I think it's time... Eric. Over here. Eric, attack. Can we do anything else? Come on, Eric. Why aren't you attacking? Okay. Yep. He's done. Right, so we'll attack with five and we'll attack now. Finished. Okay, you need to... Okay. Nope, I'm going to move you back. And I'm going to move Tempest. Alright, can I do anything else? Nope, then the turn here. And the turn here. Right, so an attack. Okay, so what can I attack? Let's attack here. One, two, let's go. Right. Oh no 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 no! You oh great. Well, ah. 
Yep, one Renown. Okay. Good. On, attack, attack, attack him. Why can't you attack the chieftain? I don't know why you can't look. Attack. Do we have any more? Return the favor. Then the turn here. We'll make it go here. And the turn here. Rest, attack, move. I want you to attack. No! Great. And why can't you attack damage? They just attack. One idea, hold on. Yep. Brilliant attack. people as well but you know hmm. oh I haven't oh good good I thought I lost him yeah they've been injured good so I've got some renown indeed okay there they are gods be damned I've got to go wash off this blood Eric is looking out the hall's windows onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of bold reds and blues. One banner I know well, Vognir. Next for color. For while kingship last we spoke, the other flag. Looks important. Yeah, important guess. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, things make a little more sense. You hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me. The governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotten bodies of pools of entrails still in the Great Hall before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? What is it? If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Rolgard hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spa of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go on. To greet the new arrivals down at the docks. And here come the new arrivals indeed. The docks. It's like a winter wonderland. I don't know where it gives that desk. There are many. Vognir. A familiar wall steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version tramping. Tramp the halls of Grofheim, abundant in purpose. Gods, Uber, you're looking ancient. Comes with being old. And if there's Vognir, there must be Hakon. Musler. Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old yorks. At what age you lose a sense of shame? Joran the dem demands it. I'll take that over lingering to death in Grofheim. Speaking of... I had no sense that you were so far away from home. Just returned from Arborong, in fact. And glad for it. Harkon motions to the other ships in the bay. Sails still fluttering. Golden wolf head em emblazoned on red. The king of men or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son, Luden. Don't you know? Screen of up. 
We visited his capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hakon has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakon. Then you're going to Grafine? I have the distinct feeling I've finished my business in Strand. and was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'd drink a week away, but... Ah, uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is, the prince is a delight to behold. Where is Morg? Hakon, have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading to meet the governor. A host of giants have played the part in his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Morg. See you in the morning, screen of I'll be along. The young prince of men ambles from a ship. He brushes it off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Luden looks for all the world. The sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grofheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. Okay, so I think this has been a good episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. See ya.